Hey everyone, it's Ryan Scott from churchsetup.com and today I'm gonna to do a really quick tutorial video because I get questions all the time about how to stream to both Facebook and YouTube at the same time. And it's really easy if you have the right tool. And so we're gonna we're gonna jump into that in a second. I will say if you're using like vMix, vMix has built-in multi-streaming, but unless you have really, really good internet, I wouldn't try doing that. If you have a lot of upload speed, I'm talking about, you know, maybe a hundred megs upload or more. Um, maybe you can get away with doing uh, double uploads, but basically what it, what it boils down to is if you have like 20 megabytes up and you stream to YouTube, YouTube is going to take advantage of all of that space. So if you're streaming and then somebody else is checking their email and somebody else is doing something else and something else, and uh, there's fluctuation in the internet speed, there always is, then YouTube is going to take advantage of your entire bandwidth to keep things going at, at the right speed. However, if you take YouTube and Facebook and multi-stream at the same time, you've just cut that in half. So now, rather than having 20 megs to play around with and make sure that you always have, you know, full speed ahead, now you're cut in half. And so both of those streams are fighting now with 10. So if you have people checking their email or, or whatever on the same internet speed and you have fluctuations, now you're getting, you're getting kind of in trouble if something happens and the, the speed drops, then, then you might be in trouble. So unless you have really good upload speeds, I wouldn't try to multi-stream from your local system. Now there is a tool that makes multi-streaming really, really easy. It's the tool we use. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. You can go to restream.io, it's our affiliate link. So uh, make sure and uh, and use that if you wanna help support this channel. But basically what this does is it gives you a single place to, to stream to. So it's only a single upload from your local machine and then restream takes that upload and it, it repeats it out to all of the platforms. And since restream is in the cloud, it has massive connectivity to all of these different platforms and therefore you get no bog down in speed and uh, it's like you have a single upload from your computer. So it just makes things very much simpler and easier. And so if you go to restream.io, now there is a cost to this. We can check their pricing right now. This is the system that, that we use at, um, at our church and uh, you can see there's a, there's a free version um, but then if you go to the standard monthly, it's $19. If you pay yearly, it goes down to 16 or you can get a uh, professional, um, whichever one fits you the most. And, uh, and so it's, it's kind of affordable, but basically there's, there's a lot of, of different things that they're op offering now, but for reference of what we're talking about in this video, it's just that you can stream to, to multiple platforms. So once you create your account and you log in, it's, it's gonna look something like this. So um, we're at our channel. You can see the, the channels that we have in and I only have four in. Now there's a whole lot of channels here. If you wanna add a channel, you can go in here and you can see all of the different channels that they support. You can go to groups and pages on Facebook. You can go to custom RTMP. So if you have another system that uh, you're, you're streaming to, you can plug that in there and use Restream to go there. Um, they've got all kinds of ok.ru, Vaughn Live, Eco. I don't even know what these are, uh, but they've got, um, yeah, I don't know what most of these are. So you've got uh, YouTube, you've got Periscope by Twitter, which is now Twitter now. Periscope no longer is there. LinkedIn beta, I don't even think you can stream to LinkedIn unless they approve it. But you've got Facebook Live and YouTube, which are pretty much it. And when you plug those in, it looks like this. So I've got Facebook and YouTube for, you can see here, this is a church setup channel. So I've got YouTube for church setup there. I've got Facebook for church setup there. And then I've got um, YouTube for the Refuge Church of Seattle and Facebook for the Refuge Church of Seattle. And so that's our, that's our Facebook and YouTube accounts. Now, whenever I start streaming, I'm using my streaming key from, from here. So this is my server settings. This is the stream key. I just copy it right there. And I plug that into Ecamm Live, which is what I'm using to record right now, or OBS or whatever I'm using. Um, and whenever I start streaming, it, it shows up right here, a preview uh, video file right here. But if you see all of these switches are off, um, it's because when I, when I start streaming, I don't wanna send it immediately. 
want to make sure everything is, is going right before I actually turn it on to the thing. So um, I'll start streaming so that I can see the, the preview there. And then I want to come over here and click update titles. And this gives us a chance to, you know, to uh, update what our title is going to be. This is what's going to show up on Facebook or YouTube. And, um, and then I can put it in the description down there and then update all. And what that's going to do is it's going to update all of these. And then uh, for YouTube, if you have a video already scheduled, what I do is I go in here before I go live and I click edit settings. And under the event, if you have any live stream scheduled, they're gonna show up under the event. And so then you can just select it and click save and it will stream to that event that's already scheduled. The reason I bring that up is because um, if, you, if you don't do that, it's gonna create a brand new, just like you went live now, it's gonna create a brand new video feed on YouTube. So if you want simple, then you can go like that. That's how I do it with Facebook. Whenever I, I turn that on, Facebook creates a new video on my Facebook page, the church Facebook page, and uh, it uses the title and it uses the description that I put in there. Um, but on YouTube, I always use a, a pre-scheduled event um, because it it's the easiest when I'm sending out links and everything before service, I send links directly to the video and not directly to our channel. Um, and so that's, that's the reason there. But when I'm when the preview is there and I'm ready to go, I just click those over like that, and it'll it'll start circling right here where it says offline, and it'll start saying trying to connect, and then it will go green when it says connect, and uh, that's how you stream to both Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Now, if I scoot this over, I want to show you one more thing that's kind of cool. If you click here, you can click to the chat app. And I do this every service uh, because I don't have anyone monitoring the chat. And what I do is I open the chat in browser. You can download the um, you can download the uh, the software for it if you want. I always just open in browser. And basically, what this does is whatever channels that I'm streaming to. You can see down here it's like zero of zero, and it shows how many viewers. Um, if I'm streaming to Facebook and YouTube, that's two channels. And so it's going to show up there to um, the first number is how many are live. The second number is how many I'm trying to stream to. So if I, if I go live to Facebook and YouTube and you know, YouTube fails or something, then it, and it does connect to Facebook, it'll say one of two. Um, but if, as long as I'm live to everywhere I want to go, it should say two of two or three of three or four of four or whatever. And then this kind of shows you how many viewers you have on both platforms. The cool thing about this chat is that it pulls in chat from, from all of the platforms that you're streaming to and aggregates them in one window. So if someone's saying something on YouTube and another person's saying something on Facebook and another person's saying something on another platform that you're streaming, it'll take all of those chats and bring them right here. And if you respond and you type something here, and you uh, send it, it sends it out to all the channels. So you can respond very easily there if you're wanting to respond in chat. And that that's really good with Restream as well. If you're using Ecamm, um, which I'll give a link down to that. If you're on uh, Mac and you're streaming from an Apple computer, then Ecamm Live is probably the best software. It's better than OBS. It's what I'm using to record this right now. But um, if, you, if you're on Ecamm and you're using Restream, then Ecamm will actually bring in the comments from Restream, just like it does from YouTube and Facebook. And so you get to see in Ecamm Live, so you can bring them on screen and everything. You can actually see the comments and everything flowing through as well. So Restream is really, really cool. They're adding new features all the time. Matter of fact, now, if you're using like the, the A10 Mini Pro um, to stream and you're coming into your computer through, uh, through the USB connection, you can just go to the Live Studio here and select your USB source as your source, and you can stream without Ecamm or or anything straight from here. But I don't like doing that. I like going through through Ecamm Live for, for mine, so I'm blocking all of those. But um, but it's a really good platform. So that's the one I recommend. They didn't sponsor this video, by the way. Um, I'm I'm supposed to say that on YouTube they didn't sponsor this in in any way. It's just what we use. Um, we've had them for a long time. Matter of fact, I have a lifetime account that I've had for a long time. And so I'm not paying the monthly fees, but uh, it's worth the monthly fees if you want to stream to multiple platforms. And there's so much, 
they're packing so many features in there that it's it's really good. So if you're wanting to stream to multiple platforms, if you're wanting to stream to YouTube and Facebook at the same time, I would just use Restream. It gives you one single upload. So you go one stream up to Restream and then Restream repeats it all out. And uh, you can have a really solid stream going out to everything and it just works. It's, it's really handy to have. So I recommend that. If you don't have it yet, click the link in the description. It'll take you, you can sign up and it's our affiliate link. So we'll get a little bit of, I can't remember what we get from that. But anyway, um, <laughs> it's our affiliate link anyway. So if you wanna click that or not, just go to restream.io and uh, sign up for the software. Get a trial, try it out, see if it works for you. If you have any other software, I know there's like Bidyard and stuff that other people are using that I didn't really like, but if you have one that you like that's not Restream, let us know in the comments, let us know um, which one you like better and why. Um, but hopefully this video was helpful to all those that keep asking that question. Now I have a video to send you to and show you how to do it. And, uh, and so hopefully that was helpful for you. If you don't mind clicking the subscribe button, down below, if you want more videos like this, if you want tips and tricks and, and techniques and tech reviews and things like that when it comes to video, uh, church video, church live streaming, all of that, go ahead and click the subscribe button and then click that little bell as well. And you'll get notified whenever we publish a new video. We go live all the time. You'll get notified when we go live and, uh, and hopefully we'll be a good resource for you. If you have any questions, you can send them to support at churchsetup.com and we'll try to answer them in our content and and hopefully uh, we'll all learn to get better together. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.